at the world's edge. There is some serious old order history here. Why are we here? We're apprentices. We just deal with the smaller orc attacks. Not this time, Egan. Here you must face a slightly bigger problem. But you will have Master Cygnus's war machine spells to help. Okay. We got this. Only slightly bigger. How bad could it be? Okay. So I was interviewing with Ben and he was talking about one of the one of the main things that he was very focused on when uh designing uh, Ravita, but also just kind of as far as like what he hopes to have kind of an impact on it as far as like roguelikes and just other games is the idea of ooh, additional volley, additional volley of arrows. Uh, when designing roguelikes and games in general, you just basic numerical like damage ups are kind of really boring. And so for him, Ravita was kind of his answer to that, you know, wanting to make these these weapons and upgrades really mean something from like a design perspective. Um, and so playing specifically uh, Dungeon Defenders Awakened, I am terribly bored when it comes to like, oh right, I was going to upgrade my blunderbuss. Eh, that's good enough. Um, but yeah, playing Dungeon Defenders Awakened is, it's it's super dull. Like, there's... There's minimal... Upgrades. Oh. I guess I can refund this item's upgrades. There we go. Let's just make it do arcane damage. Perfect. I think that's all I need. Uh, but yeah, so with Dungeon Defenders, it's just bigger number. Very rarely does a item that you find change how you play. Whereas here, if you notice, I just switched around one of my traps, yeah. so now it does arcane damage. Obviously, like, it's not hugely impactful, but within this game, you know, I have that choice. And it's not like it's randomized loot that's really determining this. Uh, let's see. Okay. I gotta figure this one out. I don't actually remember if there's a difference between these two staircases. I think there was a minor one, but that was about it. Uh, let's see. And yeah. The main issue is Mongreal. Who can leap barricades? I think everybody else does not. And we don't have to worry about it. What are we doing as far as, like, murder holes go? They're there. This would work. It's not going to work perfectly. It's just a little tall. Here's a good one. It's a little high up is the one issue. We might want to skip Super Killbox initially. Oh, and get Super Beef Man. Oh, but I can't put him. You know what? It's fine. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I legitimately do not remember which ones these the boss goes up. I want to say it actually goes up this one. Okay. Wait. This is, does this one not have an Oh, it does have an outdoor segment. Are they about the same? No, that one has a much lower outdoor segment. I think I actually want to put the barricades here. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, the boss spawns from the north. Yeah. He definitely went up... He didn't go up this side. So I, I think walling this off is fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, so we want to get rid of this. But I do want to do this. Uh, one, two, three. Alright. Hmm. This one's kind of tough. 
That scared the shit out of me. Well, it's fine. Oh, I'm up. I'm here. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, I can put archers up here, maybe. Or like maybe down a layer. Where is this? Oh no? Where huh. This exists. This is a very good spot to put some archers. Huh. Yeah, they're they're on both sides. I never noticed them. I'm on the wrong side for this. Eh, it's fine. Is yeah, we might as well drop down and use those kind of weird uh here. No, this this is the wrong. Um bearish. Got to jump out a window to get to one of these. It's probably right here. Yeah, here we go. Because there's no way that I know of that lets me get here conventionally. However, it's a really good spot to put some archers. Just for kind of pelting people as they come by. Um, I could also put some springboard traps in here, but like, what the hell would I... It's really awkward. I'm just going to kind of accept that they're going to take down the barricades. Eventually, I'm going to try and make these places gnarly. Uh, well, mm. I mean, all things considered. In the long run, this is pretty good. There we go. Have I considered mazing the interior? Like here? Nah. Do we get rid of those archers? I'm trying to decide on that one. Because the archers are good... But maybe not here. Because they're very limited in where they can shoot. Can I see them from here? Nope. It's like, it's a kind of okay vantage point. Nope, wrong one. Damn it. We want the other side. North side. Okay. But yeah, the biggest thing is, just in general, mazing isn't really worth it. Unless you've got a very specific build that I do not have. Okay, so we want to go here. I want to go here. That's going to take a little bit for, every, uh, for all my enemies to get up to this point, but that's okay. Um, yeah, do I just put them here? Hell yeah. just do that. I think it's just perfect. My goal here is to have ultra deluxe horror box right here. There we go. Because, yeah, going to take a little while for the enemies to get up here means I can effectively pepper them with a lot of brimstones. And then I could potentially even put uh, big archers here. 
Oh, did I not? I didn't actually turn this this one into mulch box, did I? Oh well. I love that reload animation. It's so good. It clearly isn't working to the extent that I was hoping it would. Those bouncing saw blades might hit the ogre. But I guess that's exactly what I want it to do. Okay. And then they're going to be coming up here. But that's fine. We want them to come up here. I'm definitely going to have to get some brimstones on the other side, because I know there's cobalt sappers. Not on this round, but there will be. I'm actually not sure why I'm hanging out fighting those as much. Ooh. Eeg troll. Yeah, luckily, they turn around pretty quick, so we don't have to worry too much. Alright, here we go. Wow. Okay, that's not what I was expecting would happen. I did not realize the priest had that maneuver. Impressive. Okay. So... The knight clearly is going to need some help here. But I mean, otherwise, this is fine. I think I just need to soften them up a little bit more. Oh, damn it, something got through. Well, it's fine. Do something's got by. Ow. Must have been little guys. Oh. I'm going to have to move this knight. Because the big issue is the knight fighting enemies there are, is going to break my barricades. Well, you know what? We just started. Let's retry this one real quick. Yeah, push over the barricade? Possibly. There's a couple of different things that could have happened. Oh, grenade launcher. That would do it. Okay, that said, got a pretty good idea of what I... what I want and need here. Alright. There's one... And then, yeah, we want to barricade this side. We'll put it there. There we go. Grab that. Go here. Yeah, the knight is good. However... Not amazing. Not yet. We'll get there. And we want to keep them away from barricades. Okay, we got that set up. So we want to just go back here. Up and then down to where the landing is. Hello, landing. That set up. And then lastly, we are going to need some brimstones here. Perfect. Okay. 
It's a bit of a mix, and those tar traps are an investment in the future, as opposed to anything particularly incredibly useful now. Huh. <sighs> Probably should have concentrated my defenses up higher, but it is is what it is. Yeah, these guys are immune to fire. However, my brimstones do arcane damage with this current iteration. So we don't have to worry about being immune to fire in the slightest. And my main goal with all of this is just to really muck up ogres and orcs. Uh, ogres and trolls, the big guys. They're always the kind of hardest to manage. Enjoy physics for a while, jerks. Ain't gonna last, though. Yeah, I forgot I've got levitation. Whoops. I don't think I'm really going to be able to leverage it that much. Let's just heal. Okay, we want to be here. I don't really have my super kill box at all set up. Hell, I don't even have the start of it. Well, we do got the brimstones. And that ogre is looking pretty bad. Might even want more brims, frankly. He looks so stanky. All purple. There we go. I gotta be careful, because I'm pretty much the only one that's capable of defending this area. Missing every shot here. Okay, first and foremost, I'm just gonna brim up. Oh shoot! How'd you even get past? I don't know how you got past, but that's okay. All right, so they're hitting those brims pretty hard. As we knew they would. I think we'll be fine. Biggest potential worry is also par. There we go. Spread it decently well. Okay, perfect. I got some money. I got an okay amount of money. Um, frankly, Brim Spam is probably my best option. Are there armored trolls in what, this one? There's Troll Chieftain? They're like purplish. So, yeah, effectively there are. Huh. I'm just going to have to accept that that's going to be, I don't like this little gap here. That feels really bad to me. Oh, well. Uh, I was wondering about that earlier. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to want to do is probably put the knight out here. Ooh, we might actually want to put some archers up there. Maybe. Oh, here they come. Not that it matters in the slightest. I think if I were to redo this, I'd probably just skip these and just say, like, and, and it's just not going to work for me anyway. So would Archer Banks on the inside of those inaccessible platforms be good for peppering enemies inside the fort? I don't think I can put them 
there. So, uh, only certain war structures can actually be placed outside. Okay. Won't be delaying those any further. I think only the flipper traps can be placed inside, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. We have Shrek. Shrek is dead. Long live Shrek. Get down. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna brimstone spam. Like, it feels tacky to just have, like, tons of these going up. But it works really well. There we go. I'll have to see what the uh, fire flipper traps do at some point. I should just utilize them in general. Oops, I want that. I need money. But we're here already? Oh boy. Did that troll just kind of avoid all of them? He did, he's a stanky jerk and I don't like him. Here's a question about the lasers. I wonder if I can just do up, 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 up. Wow! <laughs> that ogre got uh, launched. Okay, nothing's gotten by. I'm in a very dark room, and I should probably rectify that. It's going to be difficult right now. Okay, so I got 6,000. Can you bounce horizontal uh, saw blades off of barricades? Pretty sure, yeah. I can see that working really well as far as like some kind of obscene maze thing. I, I, I could see that being good. Do we get be good nice at this point? Kinda? I'd only be able to get one. I was suggesting you make a flat hell box. The main problem is keeping the... Keeping these contained. So, you're right, but barricades are really expensive. There's a one and a barricade around them. No. The barricades take damage based on enemies swinging. So, them fighting the knight is going to kill the barricades. It's a waste of money. Like, one, y'all are not using the backseat pass. Get, get using that instead. Uh, just throwing this stuff out. Two, no, bad idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, the other option I do have is we could actually just get a pair of priests down instead. Let's see, what about flippers out here? So I've considered the flipper traps. The main thing is it potentially throws them down there and slows everything down, and I don't actually want that. So, realistically, I do want one of these guys. Question is, can I get an archer bank to go alongside them? I think so. They actually be good, though. Let's find out. Will they shoot from up here? Or do they have to have line of sight? Yeah. Nope! 
shit. <laughs> it's fine. I think my defenses are generally more than good enough, but yeah, it's uh, that's a bit of a suck. I mean, if their projectiles just, you know, didn't... He okay, where's the brim run out? Is it right there? Eh, not quite. Okay. I think we're fine. Brim spam works incredibly well. I've seen a number of people being like, oh, it doesn't work against uh, the fiends, but the answer is it actually does. It works really well against the fiends. It just has to be purple. Like a color matching thing. They're only vulnerable to purple fire. Look at them melt. Absolutely satisfying. I think we'll be okay. My only real persistent worry here is going to be the, uh... Right. I gotta stop using grenades in this exact location. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at him go. Okay, I might have to rethink this whole night business here. Or, like, move him back further? I... I don't know, but, like, he is he is a threat to all barricades. I mean, as long as too many of my enemies don't try and fight him there it won't be so bad but he, have, he has line of sight I assume I think I'm gonna have to move him back yeah I really wish I could actually put them down inside there's some amount of me is like I'm not actually sure if I need him like me with this shotgun is generally more than enough that and brim spam Okay, got 12 minutes left. I'm going to move him back and I'm going to get rid of those archers because those archers are very not worth it. Hell yeah. That'll stop him. Okay. Okay. And then if we go over here, we can sell these, because they're functionally useless there. I could potentially put them back here. That wouldn't even be, like, the worst idea. I'm going to do it. I don't think they're going to be able to hit anybody down there. Maybe the front guys are. However, they'll be able to shoot over those barricades. And hit some more, and we can get some priests here, and... Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about these. Sure, why the hell not? Okay, perfect. Well, okay, so they're almost kind of maybe not really that useful. <laughs> they shoot backwards. <laughs> oh, that's a different one. <laughs> Look at them go! They can't shoot volleys, but they can shoot through themselves. Backwards arrows. Really impressive, actually. <laughs> yeah, the other thing I'd potentially consider kind of along the way up here is just some acid traps all, all over. Because acid traps will do some amount of work. I wish I knew what the acid effects strictly did. 
Because it could be a damage over time effect. It could actually reduce, like, their armor or something. That's why I like the brimstone stone traps, and I probably will never, like, move, fully move away from brims. Is It is incredibly helpful being able to, uh... It's incredibly helpful being able to just delete all of the really just basic enemies. Basic, the the runners. Because if they can't if they can't do a run on me. Makes my life so much easier. I can get another knight. Dang! I'm in the money now. Okay. I should probably actually wait and see how effective this night spam is. Just kind of hang back here. Oh. They'll get to me eventually. Okay, that way she can shoot that way and there. And I could potentially get some more knights if I want to. They're not great. Not me. Okay, that's fine. gonna get a couple of those. They seem they clearly help. Frankly, I might even just start putting them there. The knights will mob anybody. Okay, so here's gonna be the thing. Boss is coming. Not much I can do about it. Let's just figure out where he's gonna be. Final wave. Please come north, please come north, please come north. I don't see him yet. Yell if you see the boss, though I guess I'm not reading chat, so I guess it's kind of meaningless. I do really appreciate the, uh, like, named boss enemies. They're kind of a nice change of pace. Seen them yet. There he is. North. Perfect. Okay, B Cobalt. There he is. This is gonna be minimal. Minimum finesse. However, he is almost dead. I will take that money. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, bad place to be stuck. There we go. He dead. Welcome to Hull Brawler. Probably just get more of these priests. I was assuming the priests would be healers. No, they're just angry. Hmm. Nah, probably more of these. There we go. I got five minutes. We're good. I, I, this defense is ridiculous. And shockingly effective. I, I think that's universally been true. 
with most of my setups. Here's a question. Will the saw blades just fly off into the sunset here, or are they actually going to do anything? No, they actually... They seem to stay in this area. Okay. Not as immediately effective as I think I would like it to be, but I'll take it. Alright. Oh, now we just wait for all the big guys to get up here. Come! Meet Hall Brawler! It is your doom, Ghosty Trolls. Shit, they're not, they're just not even gonna get to Hall Brawler, are they? I think I just burned them so much. <laughs> Hall Brawler was meaningless. Of course it was. All right. Do I keep going? No, I probably should stop. I don't want to stop, but I should stop. Yeah, heroes. Oh. Right. It's... Yeah, I know who all these characters are. Okay. Uh, I was trying to remember who this character was, but that's the Sorceress. I think that's Cygnus, Sorceress... Max, and I think you get to play as Warwick. I could remember. Pretty sure Wander to use flippers the first time he played that level. Though this was funnier. I am very happy. Ooh. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, we'll, we'll do one more. I think. I gotta check what it is. Scramble. Five tiers of progressively harder scenarios. Oh. Sure. Okay. Choose your fate across five tiers of increasing difficulty. One rift point pool across all tiers. One chance per tier to reroll debuffs. Choose your buffs after beating tiers. Oh, it's like a roguelike mode. Huh. That's cool. So... Choose a tier one map. It comes with the debuff. There's also buffs, but I get them after beating maps. So debuff adds elemental earth lords to every wave, makes earthlings faster, or barricade cost is increased. Yeah, so it's kind of like a randomized mode where you get to uh where you get to mix and match like five levels together plus some random modifiers to kind of spice it up a little bit. I like that actually. That's really cool. Okay, let's spend our upgrades and then I'll probably call it for now. Do I reduce the prices on those? Have I even been using anything else? Oh, Blunderbuss. And... Let's go with secondary freezes enemies, no damage or knockback. That way I don't have to worry about flipping enemies over barricades. I'll work on the Acid Geyser. Still wish I knew what Acid effects are, but... I think it would be worth investing in Acid Geysers as kind of a bonus to the Brimstone.